Good morning, today is Friday, April 27, 2018. Probably one of the shortest weeks I've ever had, considering I was only three days long. Um, and today I want to talk about something interesting that came up yesterday. So yesterday I had to period sub, which is, you know, um, on the spot sub for my coworker, Mr. Pedraza next door. I don't mind that, you know, it's pretty good, easy 45 bucks and kids are really good. And, you know, I, I was just, uh, I didn't have to really do much management. They were pretty good kids. So um, I really didn't, I was pretty hands off. So what I did was I was working on a, I was just working, I have this thing called, a, I need to make 10 hours of PD, otherwise I'm gonna take a pay cut. So um, I did, I was just working on some PD stuff, like the stuff I would've worked on if I was, if I wasn't subbing. So something interesting came up. Um, so, you know, some of those students I shared with him and some of them were, were old students of mine. And you know, in general, I do pretty well as a teacher. I think um, my relationships with my students are pretty strong. Um, a lot of them feel my classroom is a safe space. But you know, the, the, um, I've come to learn that you know you can't please them all. Right? Some there's gonna be like there's gonna be one or two students that'll never really kind of mesh with, and that's totally fine, right? So I had in particular one student that I didn't mesh with in there, and um, there was nothing wrong. That that's the thing. Like nothing happened. Right, it's it's a like the relationship that I have with that student is really really rocky. So it's kind of like we just stay out of each other's way because we don't agree with the way we see the world, right, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so pretty much I was on the. I was, it's interesting just because like, I was subbing for Mr. Pedraza. The kids were good. I helped maybe two or three kids with some words, and then I spent most of my time just working on the stuff that I had to work on, right? So you know, the teacher stuff. <laughs> It's a funny thing, right? Um, you know, like maybe like twice, I walked, I got up and walked around just to make sure everybody was doing their work. And um, when I got to the the group with that girl, I didn't even make eye contact with her and say a word. I was like, okay, good. And then I moved on. Fifteen minutes later, I did the same thing. No eye contact. Moved on. Right. During sixth period, <laughs> a student told me that like I apparently was like bothering this person like nonstop. Like I wouldn't stop saying her name and I was just like bothering her like I was telling her or like talking to her I'm like that is ex that is the exact opposite of what happened I was just sitting there working on an assignment that I had to do and you know that now I'm thinking about it I'm like in my earlier days I would have probably taken that personally but now I'm like realized I can't I can't impress everybody you know um so I just let it go it's just kind of I'm just thinking about how, how funny that is, like, me, I was like, and, and I told the students, I was like, no, I didn't. I just sat there, I helped two students, and I stayed out of her way, I didn't even make eye contact. And it's just interesting, just like, like, you know, I guess it just shows why you need this tough skin in teaching, like, you're going to be seen so negatively in so many people's light, uh, lights, and sometimes it'll just take one. But for me, I didn't let that one get get the better of me, because, like, one thing, I, I kind of expected it, and another thing is, like, you know, I, I just didn't understand. Wow, why like why like well, I mean I did say one thing like on the, like on the way out like she just bolted out I said bye she didn't say anything I was like okay what else and then it's just so it's just it's like did I just do something that was so annoying like I was pretty much hands off mainly because those kids were so good um, you know the teacher was really good he said he he said his little spiel he said like you know, his, his feeling fell off and, and it was kind of funny but. Like, um, you know, he said his thing, kids were good, I did my thing, they did their thing, I checked occasionally, I did, I did honestly the teacher job, like, I wasn't being negative, I wasn't forcing anybody to do anything, it was all there, it was just, it, it just worked out really well, and for a student to say that, like, to like, make me look bad by saying this stuff about me is just, like, absurd, there have been times where I'm upset, right? And like last week, it was one of those times. Um, and, you know, I've been also very careful this week with um, that particular student. You know, I'm trying to lower my interactions with the student, trying to keep her um, keep her steady. And she's been, it's working so far, so it's working, which is good. Um, being, being very mindful of not to, you know, get her upset, because I'm not, I don't want her upset, because I know I'll get upset at the same time. I'm also being mindful so that she doesn't make me upset because if I get upset, she gets upset. You know, that's just the thing about humans, right? We're humans. We we try not to do that. And then, 
when you're a teacher, sometimes you, you, your, your power gets to your head and it just like it blows up in your face. I would know that. So like, um, it, it was just funny, just like that, that that even was a thing because like I knew the student was going to be there. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be very, very, and I said to myself, I'm going to be very mindful. I'm going to stay out of her way. I know she's going to stay out of mine. And I'm gonna do my thing, and then like lo and behold, she's like trying to like make me look bad. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, man, make me look bad. I was like, I know the truth. I know what happened. There's every, all the other students know I didn't say anything. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much the story of the day. It's it's, it's gosh, it's, it's, sometimes sometimes I don't get these kids. It's like it's like. What do you get out of like talking bad about me? You know, what, what do you get out of talking smack about me? What do you get about talking smack about some other teachers? You know, <laughs> like uh, what? I mean, they they're there for you, and it's just is it just like just the fact that you can you have a punching bag? Is, is that what you get out of it? Because okay, feel good about yourself about the lie that you have spread about others, but I already know the truth, and I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna lose any sleep about it. In fact, I didn't lose any sleep on it. I was watching like anime and playing video games yesterday so it was great anyway i'll talk to you guys tomorrow or monday who knows it's gonna be a chill weekend uh, i know them from my wife that uh we've been partying a little too hard this month so <laughs> it's gonna be chill this 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 week hopefully a chill month too anyway i'll talk to you guys later bye